Welcome to the women's shot put final here in Hamden Park on this fourth day of athletics. Here's the standings after the first three rounds. Valerie Adams leading at 1988. Cleopatra Burrell safe in second at 1857. Julia Labonte in 1725 in third. And then the three English girls together. Rachel Wallader, Sophie McKinna, Eden Francis fighting it out. And then Oriol Dongmo McMenang is 1650. And then Kirsty Yates has done well to make this top eight. These are the four girls that are going to be eliminated, though, at this stage. So, Nikki Okwalogu, Alison Roger, Kim Mulhall, and Annie Alexander from Trinidad and Tobago, unfortunately, will take no further part in this competition. So Valerie to finish this fifth round. What could she do? Come on. A big shout, and that's better. That's better, maybe 20 meters. She's still not happy. She knows that there's a big throw in there. She's been training very, very well, very hard for this. Making a lot of sacrifices, leaving her family behind in New, Ze family behind in New Zealand. Very close group of sisters and cousins. Moved to Switzerland some years ago now, two, three years ago, to train with John Pierre Egger in the wonderful uh, training venue of Maglagan. 1976, unfortunately, no improvement. So she walks out the front of that one. She don't want to have it marked, unfortunately, but still, she's happy. She's got to be happy with that lifetime best, 16.42. Proud Scott. I'm very, very pleased to be here. So the next woman up is Oriol Dongmo. McKimnang of Cameroon's national record of 1650 in the first round. Twenty-three years of age, just coming up to a twenty-fourth birthday next week. Well, another good throw over 16 meters, but not uh, not going to beat that 1650 national record from the first round. So good competition, national record. Again, like Kirsty Yates to come away with a personal best in a championship like this, 1607. So now the three English ladies, one after the other. Eden France is the first one up. So two centimeters behind compatriot Sophie McKinna. 16.57 so far. So has she moved up a place or not? She doesn't look happy. She's got the white flag, but uh, just last week she threw 17 meters at the anniversary games in London. Eden is waiting for the mark to come up. 16.34, she won't be happy with that, but she has the discus to come. So next, Sophie McKinna. What can she do here? Former World Youth Silver Medalist, European Junior Silver Medalist as well. Formerly coached by Jeff Capes, Commonwealth multiple Commonwealth medalist famous shot put it in Great Britain no she knows that wasn't a good throw she steps out straight away so she's in fifth place Sophie 
And our training partner Rachel is in fourth place. There, shaking the hands of Alison Roger. <laughs> oh god, I wish I wouldn't have said that. <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> waiting for that mark to come out. So, now shouting on a training partner, Rachel. So, 15.36, no improvement. And that brings up Rachel Wallader. So, the girl from West Midlands. Lifetime best already in this competition. Can she improve upon that? Another throw around 16 meters or so. So while well, she's happy that she's thrown a lifetime bet, she and uh, Sophie, big friends, big training partners. So celebrating together. Perhaps the next Commonwealth Games, they'll still be young. And uh, there's Alison Roger going up 15.60. So now we're down to the medalists. We know who the medalists are. I think we're pretty sure of the position as well. This is Julia Labonte. We've already seen the uh, heptathletes get a, a gold and silver today. And now a bronze medal from the shot put from Julia Labonte. There's a student at uh, University of Arizona. She's been very consistent over 17 meters, the 24 year old here. So Coach Craig Carter from the University of Arizona has got to be pleased with his charge here. She's also going to throw the discus, but she's a better shot putter. So 17.58, season's best. And a bronze medal for Julie Labonte. No. So we know Cleopatra Perel has got the silver medal. Can she deliver a mark that she's happy with? Well, she sits down in the circle. She's got to be happy to get the medal. Red flag. It's been a bit of a cakewalk for her. We knew that she was going to be way ahead of the person in, uh, in third place. Now, Valerie. I'm sure she's going to take this attempt because she won't want to be below 20 meters if she can help it. She has one more chance. Trying to get angry, trying to get focused. She's got 1988. She already got the gold medal. She's defended her title. Big shout, big chase. Another throw out there. I think high, eight, high 19s. So she's got to be happy. That's her 54th competition in a row and to defend the Commonwealth title. The queen of the shot put continues her unbeaten run. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of New Zealand.